everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different from the other ones that I've done. This is a pretty highly requested video I got to show what's on my iPhone. So today I'm going to show you guys what apps I have, how I organize, and kind of just what are my most used things. As you can see here, my wallpaper is Sakura from Aizuan. She is my bias and I love her to death. I made this wallpaper using an app called Nietzsche, which I will show you guys later on. I've had this phone, the iPhone XS Max in gold for a couple of months now and I'm a really big fan. So let's get started. This is my home page. I have all of the basic things like Apple Maps, photos, YouTube, etc. all here. This isn't super organized, I just have this because these are the ones I typically reach for the most. I have Apple Music which is open here, you guys can kind of see the stuff that I have. Oh, this is so random. <laughs> I love this song by Miss A. But yeah, this is kind of what I use when the stuff doesn't come on Spotify right away. So that's why I have Seventeen's album because it took like a little while for it to come onto Spotify. And my mail app, Google Chrome. In the bottom right, I have my Spotify. This is primarily where I listen to my music. So you can see my most recent plays. I have a note. This playlist is all of the female artists I listen to in K-pop. So it has like over 250 songs right now. I have obviously ARMS Mono. I put this on repeat whenever I'm studying. And then I have This Is Stray Kids, <laughs> The Essentials, which has all of their music. So I've just been listening to this on repeat as well. Stan St Stray Kids, if you don't already. They are my favorite boys in the whole entire world. And yeah, they deserve all the love and support. Also, best song XID has released. I'm not taking other opinions. <laughs> so that's my Spotify. Over here, I have all of my apps. They are color coded, which I know is controversial. Some people hate color coding and some people like it, but I personally love color coding my apps. I don't know why. I just like how it looks. And obviously not all of this is perfect because some of the apps that I have don't necessarily fit perfectly into one of these like categories, but I tried the best that I could. And again, my wallpaper in the background I made on the Nietzsche app, which I'll show you later. This is my essentials app. I have all of my social media here and my studying apps like Forest. So this is what I use, my Google Home. And yeah, my Instagram, which you guys probably follow is right here. I have Reddit, which I go on typically when I wake up, when I'm bored, and then my Twitter. Here I have a bunch of miscellaneous apps. Um, these are the white ones, a lot of them are shopping ones. Visco is what I use to edit all of my photos, so you can see here this is a bunch of photos that I've already posted onto Instagram, so this is where I use to edit. I have Snow, which I use to put cute filters on things, some productivity apps, and then here I have like the miscellaneous color ones that don't really fit into any category because they're multiple colors. So yeah, these are some there. In the red category, I debate picking black or red for Netflix, but I ultimately ended up putting it into the red category. I have, again, pretty basic things like Yelp, um, Telenim, where I answer your guys' anonymous questions, Airbnb, where I book hotels and rooms for me to stay in when I travel, my Gmail. And then over here, the My Love and Love Days apps are where I track how long I have biased my ultimate biases. So this is me in Namjoon, and then here, this one is Momo. Yeah, I've biased Momo for a very long time. Oh my gosh, we're almost at our one year, six months. How exciting. I didn't even realize. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that app. Um, I honestly don't really have anything particularly interesting on my phone. I just have a lot of apps. Here's all the orange ones that I have. Ooh, my Twice Light Stick one. I hope I get to use it someday. I hope they actually have a concert in California. I would be so excited. I have SoundCloud to listen to BTS releases and to download um, copyright free music for YouTube. Crunchyroll because I love anime. Tide also to focus, but I rarely use it. I don't know why I still have it on here. And here's Nietzsche, the app that I've been using to make photos. Here's one that I'm in the middle of making. This is Somi, the love of my life. She's my little baby. I'm really excited for her to debut this year. I really like this app. You can kind of just pick like little stickers to put on there and then they have cool filters and backgrounds that you can do. So yeah, I play around with this a lot and then I kind of just make fun little wallpapers and I send them to my friends or I use them myself. So yeah, this isn't sponsored or anything. I just really like using this app. It's super addicting. <laughs> so I have those. 
down here I have all of the yellow apps um, find my friends some games as you can see some more shopping and over is something I also use to edit photos and I typically use this to edit all of my thumbnails on um, YouTube actually so I would open this up I would whatever put like a picture if this was gonna be my thumbnail I would put text over it and then that's how I would make my thumbnails for YouTube so yeah that's the app I use to make thumbnails if you guys were wondering I have my KKT and then some games does anyone remember Mystic Messenger? Because I was obsessed with that game for so long and I haven't touched it in maybe like a year or two, but it consumed my life for a while. Shout out to that game. I still haven't deleted it. Maybe I'll go back to play. This is my green folder. This one's pretty boring. I have Duolingo because I tried to make myself learn Chinese and it, it isn't going well. It's going pretty badly actually because I'm not committing to it and I should be, but I will, I will try harder. I hope to gain some sort of basic knowledge of Mandarin by the end of the summer. So that's my goal. You guys keep me accountable. I have Plant Nanny, which is this really cute app that tracks how much water I drink. So every single time I drink a cup of water, I click the button down here and hold it. And once it fills all the way up, it waters my plant so that my little plant can grow. So I actually have a little garden already. So I've filled up a lot of water, or I've watered a lot of my plants so they've grown a lot. So they're really cute. This is my little garden. I love them. And of course my first plant was named Momo because she's the love of my life. So yeah, I'm pretty close to growing this one all the way. This is my little bamboo shoot, so I'm excited. You guys should definitely check that out if you haven't already. Here I have some more games, some finance apps. Um, again, nothing particularly interesting. Here is Snapseed though, which is what I used to edit a lot of my photos. So this is the one that I had uploaded a couple days ago. This is the original, this is my edited version. So I really like this app. I feel like you can do a lot with it with like selective properties and then just editing like brightness and temperature and all that stuff. I think this is probably my favorite photo editing app. And then for Visco, I just use it for filters. So yeah, those are my two main apps because a lot of people do ask me. This is my blue folder. This has the most apps in it just because for whatever reason, I feel like so many apps are blue. But yeah, I keep this one to tell me how much I've been sleeping. Sleepwatch is fun. It connects to my um, Apple Watch, my Venmo so I can send people money. VLive obviously so I can watch all of my faves do things on VLive. And then Google Translate, Amazon, the basics. Notability I use to have my notes from class. Kindle to read online books. Typically, I use this to buy cheaper versions of textbooks that are like $5 to $10 as opposed to $60 in store. Yeah, so those are just some basics there. And this is my last folder, which is the black folder. I have the Polaroid Zip app, which is where I can print photos with my Polaroid Zip. I got it for about $60 or something on Amazon. So you can just pick photos and then print them from this little machine. It's pretty nice. Um, yeah, these ones, I have Wonderground. I feel like that's my preferred weather app. It gives you really cool information about what the weather is outside. It's kind of nerdy, <laughs> but I do like it a lot. My BTS official light stick app. I use that at the concert. CoStar because my roommate is really into astrology. So that's what we use to see if we're compatible, if the stars see we're compatible. Postmates because I don't like having to actually go get food. Same with Uber Eats. I get stuff delivered to me because I'm lazy. And yeah, nothing particularly interesting. Nomo here is the app that all the Blackpink girls use to make photos. Oh, yeah. So it makes stuff look like Polaroids. Here, I'll show you guys. Poor Ejemplo. These are some Polaroids that I've made. I didn't use them for anything, but I just think they're cute. And that is everything that's on my phone. Again, not particularly interesting. I feel like I have pretty basic stuff, but a lot of you guys have asked me what's on my phone, so I figured I'd do a little video for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.